Shalom Akim. This is Yahweh Tazak coming back with another video. I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh Shemia with Shai, double honor to the elders of the Great Millstone. Much love and respect to you brothers out there doing the work in sincerity and truth. Yahweh Shemia with Shai, Waha Raka Kodash, Barakatam Akim. I got Ezekiel 33 and verse 1. And basically, this is just a, a video of, of warning uh, of the, um, the imminent. Uh, return and destruction of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai that um, he's going to use um, fire as the instrument of that ultimate judgment that he's going to put upon the earth via the ICBM missiles in this third world war all right and he's going to come with the chariots and also um, take part in that destruction and us as men that have this truth, this knowledge, we are to uh, relay the message and uh, warn individuals, those that it sees fit to um, persuade them to come into the fold of covering of protection through the spirit of power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So this is Ezekiel 33 and 1. It says, again, the, the word of Yahweh came unto me saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people. And say unto them, which are Israelites, right? The children of thy people are Israelites, the Negro Latinos and Native American Indians. And say unto them, when I bring the sword upon a land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman. All right. Though no man chose us to do this. It was Yahweh Shai that chose, ch has chosen us to come out into the highways and the byways, come onto the uh, Internet. And sound the trumpet, warning them of the sword that is coming upon the land, which is the ICBM missiles, um, different um, high-tech high, high tech technology weaponry, um, biological warfare, and things of that nature. All right, it wasn't no, it wasn't no man or, or man of the nation of Israel, people of the nation of Israel that sat down and chose us to be the watchmen. All right. And set him for their watchman. If when he seeth the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. All right, and that's what we're doing. Us brothers, starting with Elder Tahar down in, in GMS Great Millstone, we're warning you, telling you of the coming destruction, which is going to be through fire, man. All right, some it's going to be the ultimate instrument of Yahweh Shai that he's going to use upon the earth, as he did in ancient times with. Uh, during the time of Noah via water all right but in our last days in the end of days all right in that time it's going to be through fire man all right it says verse 4 then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and taketh not warning if the sword come and take him away his blood shall be upon his own head he heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning his blood shall be upon him, but he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. But if the watchmen see the sword come, and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity. But his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. See, so that man was called, but because he uh, forsook his post, all right, his lot, of doing his duties the blood his that man's blood is going to be upon your hands for not um uh fulfilling that all right sounding the trumpet warning the people edifying the people um whether they hear or forbear it is your responsibility to go onto the highways and the byways and the internet and push forth this wisdom knowledge and understanding to the four corners of the earth all right and it says verse seven so thou son of man i have set thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore thou shalt hear the word at thy mouth and warn them from me. Alright? Because Yahweh Shai is coming as an as a, a man of war. He ain't coming back to um make things better and, and 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 not cast any judgment upon anyone. Like everybody in the world thinks everybody's gonna be saved. You know, that they're going to uh you know find some type of mercy from the lord you know no man there's going to be a lot of people that are going to perish and die before the return of the lord anyways all right 
So we have to warn them from from him, man, because he's he's coming back to destroy. Right now, he's showing mercy and grace by sending his prophets, the men of the Lord and the highways and the byways, and and rebuking you, admonishing, exhorting you through the the scriptures. That's how he's he's showing mercy to you because he comes and meets you. He's not gonna meet you as a man. He's gonna meet you as an angelic force that is full of power, and 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 he's gonna fulfill that purpose of destruction, judgment, because he came to fulfill. Um, he came peace peaceable in the land, you know, a, a meek and things of that nature. All right, but he was abused and, and and murdered. All right, why would he come back the same way? He's coming back with vengeance, with zeal. All right. He's coming back to destroy. So our it's our job to warn you nigger Latinos and Native American Indians, you confusion confusion the face Israelites from him. Alright. And I'm gonna go from there uh, to the book of first or second Corinthians five and ten. It says, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. That everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he had done, whether it be good or bad. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Alright, so since we know the terror of the Lord, we know the scriptures, we know what the Bible is speaking about. Alright, we have this new song. It is our job to persuade men to go onto the highways and the byways and compel them to come into the house of Yahweh Shem Shai. If not, they're going to receive their just reward and vice versa. All right, but um, for all shall appear before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shem Mashiach. He's gonna come in a chariot, man. All right, he's gonna come in a chariot and he's gonna judge you people. All right, everybody that's uh, uh, in the flesh walking in that time alive, you you will be judged, and you will receive the things done in your body. All right, it ain't talking about when you're um dead. Okay. This is going to be a, a judgment that's going to be played here on the earth. All right. So it's our job knowing the terror of the Lord. And we persuade men because that fire, that thermal nuclear destruction is on its way, man. Okay. It's like I, um, I met, let brothers know the other day on Sunday, I made a video that I had a dream about that. The missiles coming, man. All right. And they're, they will be released. They will be used. And we will see it, man. It's going to be a time of great darkness in the earth, man. Great. It's going to be horrific. All right. It's going to abhor you people's pride. All right. That's where the word horror comes from, from the word abhor. Okay. It means to terrify, to be amazed, to tear apart, to rip, to separate, you know. It says, but we are made manifest unto Yahweh, and I trust also are made manifest in your consciences. See, so we are... Uh, but we are made manifest unto the Most High because Yahweh Bashmi Shah has chosen us to do this work, man. So He knows each and one of us uh, that have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, and He is monitoring it and how we're using that talent. All right. So we had to persuade men, sounding the trumpet, telling you, repent for the kingdom of heaven is near, man. For the kingdom of Yahweh Bashmi Shah is near. He's coming back with, as the Lord of Hosts, and He's going to uh, redeem His bride, man. And the rest of people are going to be uh, destroyed. If not, if those that are saved, the heathen, the two-thirds, or you heathens are going to go into slavery, man. You Edomites, so-called white people, all right? You're not from, you, you, you're not from the, uh, the tribe of uh, Japheth, all right? You are Edomites, all right? You come from Shem. You're known as a Hebrew Edomite. You Amalekites, you fake Jews out there, all right? It says, and I trust also are made manifest in your conscience, all right? So I'm going to go from there to, for, to an example in the book of Jude. Uh, chapter 1 verse 5 it says I will therefore put you in remembrance though you once knew this because everything was written for our learning all right and um so we're supposed to take heed to these things and and see it as an example just like when World War two there was a that incident that happened between Japan and the in, in America at near uh niggas uh Hiroshima and Nagasaki all right with that when they dropped the uh, first um atomic bomb all right, so that was an, a small example of, of 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 what's to come in the near future that's greater than that. I will put therefore in your remembrance, though you once knew this, how that Yahweh, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believe not. 
All right, so Yahshua, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai destroyed the Egyptians, you know, with those uh, 10 plagues. And ultimately, when they um, pursued them, they uh, all perished in the water, man. All right, and then, uh, and afterward, destroyed them that believe not. Talk, you know, also you, um, you two third, you know, rebels. You Israelites says, and the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he had reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. Talking about you Israelites that fell away from your heritage, not knowing who you are, the Israelite, you're two third, all right. Um, he reserved you in everlasting chains under darkness, meaning these bodies, man, you know, and to judgment of the great day. And what is that great day? That the 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 third woe. All right, in the land of Jehoshaphat. All right, it means Yahweh Shapat, means Yahweh's judgment. It says, even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. And that's what we're, I'm warning you of. Us brothers out in the highways and the byways, warning you of this coming sword, all right, which is eternal fire. And you will suffer great pain if you do not take the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, this uh, uh, the spirit of life, this free water of life. All right, you will be destroyed. And it, and as Sodom and Gomorrah was an example um, of 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 them giving themselves over to the flesh and all their desires, their worldly lusts. All right, their rebellious hearts and 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 things of that nature. As we as 